Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail and I have a video for you from Judge Bronlich. He has a mom before him who wants her ex to have only supervised parenting time and she makes some appalling allegations. And one of her reasoning, one of her reasons is the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. I'm not going to say what it is. I'll let you guys watch. But uh, personally, I think this mom is just a controlling person and will throw anything out to get what she wants. I'll let you guys watch. Oh, we'll call the case of Alex Clifford Lewis versus Samantha Jean Kudick. For the record, this matter is before the court on the plates of fathers and petition for parenting time. This hearing is being conducted via Zoom. President of Attorney John Danielski representing the plaintiff petitioner, Alex uh, Clifford Lewis. Mr. Lewis, please be present with Mr. Danielski. And ma'am, you are Samantha Kudik, is that yes. correct? Yeah. Right, good afternoon. Yeah. Uh, the parties uh, have conferred uh, this afternoon with uh, Mr. Ms. Andrus from the front of the court to provide the court with a fine recommendation that the parties shall share joint legal custody on a temporary basis without prejudice of the four-year-old minor child. Parenting time shall be as follows. First of all, the parties shall exchange minor child parenting time purposes at the Woodhaven Police Department. Mother shall have parenting time on Mondays and Tuesdays. Father shall have parenting time Wednesdays and Thursdays. And the parties shall alternate the weekends from Friday to Monday. All exchanges shall occur at 6 p.m. Further, it's recommended that the court order that neither party shall take the minor child outside the state of Michigan unless agreed to by both parties. So in other words, if someone's going to Toledo, um, someone's leaving the state of Michigan, do you need to inform and get the consent of the other party? Uh, all right, that's the recommendation. Mr. Danielski, is this recommendation agree with your client this afternoon? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Hudick, do you understand the recommendation? Yes. Do you have any objection to this recommendation? Yes. Okay, what is, what is your objection? I think it should only be uh, monitored parenting time, like where his family, like she would be at his family's house with him. Why, why do you believe that's necessary? It's a four-year-old child. She's not, the child's not six months. She's not old enough to call me if she needs anything. He's threatened me m numerous times and um, because his behavior recently when uh, he told me that if he didn't get Ivy, that he would kill Ivy, then call me. And then later that night, on he got a ride from a friend. Later that night, he told that friend that he would kill himself if he did if he lost me and ivy well he can do whatever he wants if he wants to kill himself or injure himself uh, miss lewis but different i'm um, sorry Sudic, but if he's threatening you you should petition the court for a personal protection order it does not protect property it doesn't protect uh, your himself it just protects you if he's threatening you with physical harm or violence uh, but that's that's another matter the, the question is whether or not uh, your daughter is safe in his presence and uh, we need, to, other than just uh, uh, your opinion, what kind of behavior have you exhibited that would suggest to you that he's a, uh, a danger to your daughter and his daughter as well? People say things when they are uh, upset, but unless he has some psychiatric condition that, you're, that you can provide this court proof of with, with uh, he's entitled to parenting time. Yes, uh, she told me that I would have to turn that in. Um, when Ivy, be, right before Ivy's first birthday party, um, he tried to kill himself. He had it to his head, and I had to call the cops, and he was in the mental institution for a week. Okay, that was, that was what, three years ago, correct? Yes. What, what's happened in the last uh, six or nine months? In the last six or nine months, um, about two months, two months ago, he broke his toe. And that scared me because he didn't cry. And the reason he broke his toe is because um, it was like 2.30 a.m. I'm just trying to cut to the chase. It was like 2.30 a.m. Ivy's screaming. She was in her bed. 
uh, next to our bed in our room. And he got up and out of a rage, he picked her up. He had broken his toe right when he got up out of bed. They called it a spiral fracture. And he picked Ivy up and he took her to the couch and put her on the couch. And then he hollered at me saying, I think I broke my toe. I've broken bones before. And I took him to the hospital and they looked at it. But it was the fact that he did not cry. He was that mad that he didn't even realize he broke his toe until after he had picked up Ivy and moved her to the living room. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to understand what uh, that has to do with uh, his ability to uh, care for a child. His ability to care for a child. Uh, it's more of the threats that he only has his mother and his cousin that live in Michigan and all of his other family live either out of the country or out of the state. And he's told me that he would take off with her and I would never see her again. Well, if he did, to be charged with, first of all, a felony offense called parental kidnapping. He, and this is, I'm this court's order that he not, shall not remove that child from the state of Michigan without your permission. Anytime Mr. that. Uh, Janowski, with whom does uh, your client reside? Uh, your Honor, he's got uh, he's got a two bedroom apartment. Um, there the, there were threats of violence on him, so he left on May third. He he uh, I filed this case on May seventh, and he's already got a two bedroom apartment, and I can screen. He came in with his mother, very nice lady, and um, he's already um, signed a lease, uh, and uh, I can show pictures of it. I did show pictures to the uh, front of the court. Uh, um, uh, referee, Your Honor, and uh, he's got it all set up, and I can show those pictures to you. Right. The court's question is, with whom does Mr. Lewis reside? Oh, he, oh I'm sorry, Your Honor. He's, he's living. He's living by himself. But his, right. his mother's in the area. She she came she came in with me. Okay, so his mother lives uh, close by. She lives here in Michigan. Yeah, yeah. She okay, she came so in he, a retainer, Your Honor. So if, if uh, Mr. Lewis needs assistance, he can, his mother is available, he could help. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So that gives uh, some uh, relief, uh, Ms. Hudick, the fact that the um, patrol grandmother is close by and can, uh, can be contacted and she'd be available to assist if Mr. Lewis is having any difficulty. So your objection is to overnight parenting time or you just want, you want all parenting time to be supervised? For now, I want um, parent. I want supervised for parenting time, normal supervised parenting time. Your Honor, these allegations the mother's making are false. Um, so, um, you know, I, Your Honor, I, I I tried to avoid uh, getting into the mud. I got all kinds of things I can say about the mother. Um, yeah, regarding spanking the child, screaming at the child, screaming at my client. And these allegations that she's making are 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 not true. He hasn't threatened anybody or anything like that, Your Honor. So um, they lived together for seven years, Your Honor, up until um, the May third, and then uh, he, he he didn't want to be around. If mom wanted to go out drinking and getting drunk, and with the child, Your Honor, taking the child to to a farm party where there was a shooting. I have a police article. It wasn't that night, but there was a shooting there. I was trying to not get into the mud on this. Okay, they equally take care of this child. They're, they're they've lived together for seven years, and he was changing diapers, doing everything for this child, Your Honor. So, and they both had the same work, almost identical work schedules, Your Honor. And this um, is a fair resolution. When uh, when Mr. Lewis is working, who will watch the child? There's a daycare provider that uh, that is used, and uh, they can use the same daycare provider. Mom's been using the daycare Why provider. Why am I muted? For his, for his, my client's mom, I believe, also uh, works from home. Uh, she's a budget analyst for the military, so he probably will um, utilize her as well, I would imagine. But if there's some problem, there is a daycare provider. I'm muted. And obviously, Mr. Lewis should inform Ms. Hudick where the child's going to be when he's at work, whether it's at his mother's or daycare, just a common courtesy. And likewise, Ms. Hudick, you should inform Mr. Lewis where the child's at when you're working. But the court uh, is not uh, convinced or satisfied that the dad is a danger to this child based on your allegations. And there's no uh, documented proof, uh, Ms. Hudick, but the court will, in fact, 
And the court's going to adopt the recommendation. We're going to set this for review. We can come back and, and, and there may be 40 days. If there's an issue, we can address it at that time and we can modify parenting time. Parenting time is always subject to modification. If there's, if there's issues, concerns, we, we can uh, draw back this uh, this parenting time. You had a question, Ms. Um, Udick? Um, I have, uh, it's already in the records. Last year on March 4th, he, has a D, he had a DUI. So, He's the one that was drinking. Was was it was the child in his car? No, the child was not in right. the car. Obviously, the child's in the car. That's one thing. But if he's uh, not exposing the child to those risks, it's uh, it's not a significant concern to this court. But we're looking at a uh, review dates in about forty days. Mister, I have uh, Wednesday, July tenth at nine or one thirty. Mister Danielski, available on the July tenth, either nine or one thirty. And I don't know, Ms. Uh, Hudick, what's best for your schedule? Nine in the morning or one thirty in the afternoon for review? Nine in, nine in the morning. Or no, one thirty. One thirty. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Mr. Danielski, any any uh, preference, whether 9 o'clock or one thirty? Either one's fine with me, Your Honor. July 10th at one thirty. That's right, 9 o'clock? What's better for us? Okay, uh, one three is best for us. So, Ms. Anderson, if you could please uh, put an additional in the recreation call review parenting time, July 10th at 1.30 via Zoom. Yes, so keep the court to my ID number, Ms. Hudick, and uh, check in if there's some issue trial in, uh, between now and then, bring it to the court's attention at that time. So we're not, uh, uh, so you don't have to file any type of motion to modify parenting time. We can address it at that time if there's some issues. But uh, Mr. Lewis is very really critical that they're both you communicate with each other. You can't talk on the phone and then text each other. You should obviously let the other know how the child's doing. Um, and okay. particularly where the child's going to be when you're working. That's important. All right, anything further, Mr. Danielski? No, Your Honor. Ms. Hudick, do you have any other questions, concerns? No, Your Honor. Okay, so let's make sure we are on the same page. Um, today is Thursday. Um, so we're gonna start dad's party time then on Friday, right at six. That's fine, Your Honor. Ms. Hudick, is that agreeable? Yes. All right, so six o'clock on Friday, you're gonna meet at the Woodhaven Police Department. And then uh, of course, you'll meet again on uh, Monday, even at six o'clock. And the uh, child will be returned to you. So dad will have the, the child. And Mr. Lewis, obviously keep mom informed. You may be even a just short text message. Um, Ivy did well, Ivy's in bed, sleeping. Or just, you know, give her some, uh, some peace of mind knowing the child is doing well. And this is the right thing to do. And it'll, it will assist in your relationship. The two of you need to work together. Uh, the next 16 or the next uh, 12 years of this child's life. And this years, includes, uh, there, he's not allowed to leave the state? Correct. And it applies to both of you. Without your consent, if he's gonna, if he's going somewhere uh, out of the state, he's just need to notify you and your consent should not be unreasonably withheld. If he's going to Toledo to a the zoo, I mean, uh, that should not be unreasonable. We should, but he'll notify you if that happens. Presume that's just for a day trip. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So, again, meet at Woodhaven Police Department on Friday. It's tomorrow, six o'clock. And Mr. Ivy, I'm sorry, Mr. Lewis has a car seat. Uh, yes, he does. Okay. Very good. All right. All right. That will conclude, sir. And you can, uh, we can zoom out, have a good rest of the day. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a good uh, evening. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. That updated recommendation should be in your queue, Your Honor. Personally, I don't believe anything this mom is saying. I think that she's just making up stuff to get what she wants. She figures that this will work and this is what she's going to try. The only thing is, is the next time it's going to be even worse. The allegations are going to get worse if she doesn't get what she wants. But he stubbed his toe, and because he didn't wake up the whole house wailing and screaming and crying, he needs supervised parenting time? <laughs> I 
That's ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. I'm certain the judge was trying his hardest not to laugh because that is ridiculous. I mean, come on, lady. Uh, could you imagine? You, you, Everybody out there, you need to make sure you know who you're having children with and make sure it's someone that you could be divorced from because once you're divorced, the ugly comes out. And I mean this for both men and women. You've got to understand who you're having children with because the ugly will come out. And that's what's happening here in my opinion. And I'm so glad dad has an attorney because that will help protect him. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.